Imagine stepping off a plane and being greeted by the cool, crisp air of the Himalayas. Welcome to Paro, your gateway to Bhutan. This serene city is often the first glimpse travelers get of this mystical kingdom, and it's a sight that's sure to take your breath away. Now before we delve into the heart of Bhutan, let's cover some practical travel information. First up, visas. All international tourists, except for those from India, Bangladesh, and the Maldives, require a visa to enter Bhutan. It's a straightforward process, but it's best to apply at least a month ahead of your planned visit. Speaking of planning, let's talk about the best times to visit Bhutan. The country has a monsoon-influenced climate, which means it experiences wet summers and dry winters. Spring, from March to May, and fall, from September to November, are considered the most ideal times to visit, thanks to the pleasant weather and the vibrant festivals that take place during these seasons. As for what to pack, think layers. The weather can change quickly in the Himalayas, so it's best to be prepared for all possibilities. Don't forget your hiking boots, as exploring Bhutan often involves a good bit of walking or trekking. And of course, be sure to pack your camera. Trust me, you'll want to capture every moment of your Bhutanese journey. Now, back to Paro. This tranquil town is home to many of Bhutan's oldest temples and monasteries, as well as the country's only international airport. It's a charming place where traditional Bhutanese architecture stands against the backdrop of verdant mountains and clear blue skies. It's the perfect introduction to what Bhutan has to offer. With your bags packed and your heart full of anticipation, you're ready to embark on your Bhutanese adventure. History isn't just a thing of the past in Bhutan. It's a living, breathing part of the country's identity. As we delve into the heart of Bhutan's history, we'll find that it's woven into the very fabric of the nation, from the architecture to the traditions and even the landscapes. The country's past is not preserved in dusty museums. It's alive in the daily lives of the Bhutanese people. The legendary Tiger's Nest Monastery, or Paro Taksang, is a shining example of Bhutan's rich history. Perched precariously on a cliff, it's not just an architectural marvel, but a testament to the spiritual devotion of the Bhutanese. This sacred site dates back to the 8th century and is linked to Guru Rinpoche, who is said to have flown here on the back of a tigress to meditate. But Bhutan's history isn't confined to spiritual sanctuaries. It's also etched into the imposing zongs, or fortresses, found across the country. These grand structures, such as the Punaka Zong and the Trongsa Zong, were not just defensive bastions, but also centers of administrative and religious activity. Their architecture, marked by ornate woodwork and intricate murals, gives us a glimpse into Bhutan's past. Bhutan's history has also shaped its unique identity. The Bhutanese have been able to preserve their traditions and customs partly due to their geographical isolation. The traditional dress, the go for men and kira for women, is still worn with pride. The national language, Dzongka, is used widely, and ancient festivals are celebrated with fervor. The history of Bhutan is a tale of resilience and preservation. It's a country that has embraced modernity, yet clung steadfastly to its heritage. This delicate balance between the old and the new is what makes Bhutan truly unique. From ancient fortresses to spiritual sanctuaries, Bhutan's history is as captivating as its landscapes. This kingdom in the Himalayas beckons with tales of legendary figures, spiritual quests, and a culture that has stood the test of time. As we journey through Bhutan, we don't just observe its history, we experience it. In Bhutan, culture and spirituality are intricately woven into the fabric of everyday life. This sentence encapsulates the essence of Bhutanese life, where traditions passed down through generations and spiritual practices shape the daily rhythm of life. One of the most vivid expressions of Bhutan's culture is its vibrant festivals. Chechu, for instance, is a religious event celebrated across the country with great fervor and color. It's a time when communities come together, dressed in their finest attire, to witness religious mask dances, receive blessings, and socialize. Each dance at the Chechu tells a story, often drawn from Buddhist teachings or folklore, and the performers wear elaborate masks and costumes, making it a visual spectacle. The festival is not just a religious event, but also a social occasion, a time to rejoice and connect with others, reinforcing the strong community bonds that are a hallmark of Bhutanese society. 
At the heart of Bhutan's culture and spirituality is Buddhism. This philosophy permeates every aspect of Bhutanese life, from the prayer flags fluttering in the wind to the chortons dotting the landscape. Buddhism in Bhutan is more than a religion. It's a way of life. The teachings of Buddhism guide the Bhutanese in their daily actions, encouraging them to lead a life filled with compassion, wisdom, and mindfulness. The monasteries and zongs serve not just as places of worship, but also as centers for learning, meditation, and community gatherings. Bhutan's culture is also reflected in its art, architecture, and even in its national dress. From the intricately designed zongs, which are a unique blend of fortress and monastery, to the traditional attire of Go for men and Kira for women, Bhutan's cultural heritage is kept alive and cherished. In Bhutan, culture and spirituality are not relics of the past, but living traditions that continue to guide and shape the present. They provide a sense of continuity and identity, fostering a sense of belonging and shared values among the Bhutanese people. Bhutan's culture is a vibrant tapestry of tradition, spirituality, and community. It's a culture where past and present coexist, where the sacred and the everyday intertwine, creating a unique way of life that sets Bhutan apart as the last Shangri-La. Bhutan's landscapes are a feast for the eyes, from lush valleys to rugged terrains. Imagine a canvas painted with a myriad of greens, from the soft hues of the moss-covered forest floor to the vibrant emerald of the towering cypress trees. This is the Valley of Punaka, a fertile oasis nestled between two mighty rivers. The valley floor is a patchwork quilt of rice paddies, their verdant stalks rustling in the wind, whispering tales of the land's bounty. As we journey further, quaint hamlets dot the landscape, their traditional Bhutanese houses adorned with colorful motifs, adding a burst of color to the green panorama. But the landscape of Bhutan is not just confined to serene valleys. As we ascend, the terrain morphs, becoming rugged and challenging. Here in the mighty Himalayas, the air is thin and crisp, and the mountains stand as silent sentinels, their snowy peaks piercing the clear blue sky. These mountains are not just a stunning spectacle. They are also home to a rich array of wildlife, from elusive snow leopards to magnificent black-necked cranes. The beauty of Bhutan's landscape is not just in its grandeur, but also in its harmony. It's a delicate balance where every element, be it the smallest wildflower or the grandest mountain, plays a crucial role. This harmony is a testament to Bhutan's deep-rooted belief in preserving nature, a belief that is reflected in the country's commitment to being carbon neutral. As we traverse through the country, we encounter a variety of ecosystems, each with its unique charm. From the alpine meadows sprinkled with a riot of wildflowers to the dense forests humming with life, every turn reveals a new facet of Bhutan's natural beauty. And then there are the lakes, serene and mystical, their placid surfaces reflecting the ever-changing moods of the sky. Whether it's the sacred glacial lakes of Gasa or the tranquil waters of Bumtang, these bodies of water add a touch of magic to an already enchanting landscape. In Bhutan, every glance offers a glimpse of nature's grandeur. Bhutan's cuisine is a delightful blend of spice, comfort, and tradition. A journey to this mystical kingdom wouldn't be complete without indulging in its gastronomical wonders. Bhutanese food is a heartwarming symphony of heat and hearty ingredients, reflecting the country's love for chili and cheese. Among the must-try dishes is ima dachi, the national dish of Bhutan. This spicy, cheesy concoction is made with generous amounts of chili peppers and local cheese called dachi. It's a dish that speaks volumes about the Bhutanese palate, bold, fiery, yet comforting. Some say it's the warmth of Imadachi that helps the locals brave the cold Himalayan weather. Next up is the Bhutanese red rice. This isn't your ordinary rice. It's a nutty flavored, slightly chewy variety that's unique to the high altitude regions of Bhutan. Traditionally paired with stews or curries, it's a staple that graces every Bhutanese meal. Now let's talk about where to find these delectable eats. In the heart of Thim Phu, the capital city, you'll find a bustling food scene. From the local markets to the quaint restaurants, the city offers a plethora of options to devour authentic Bhutanese cuisine. 
If you're looking for a truly traditional experience, consider dining at a local farmhouse. These home-style meals, prepared with love and served in the cozy warmth of a Bhutanese home, offer a taste of the country that you won't find elsewhere. For the adventurous foodies, don't miss out on the chance to try Ara, a traditional Bhutanese alcohol made from fermented rice, wheat, or barley. It's a warming drink that's often shared among friends and family during gatherings and celebrations. Bhutanese cuisine, with its bold flavors and simple ingredients, is not just food. It's a reflection of the country's culture, its people, and their love for life. It's a gastronomic journey that takes you through the country's history, one bite at a time. In Bhutan, every meal is a chance to savor the country's rich culinary heritage. So the next time you find yourself in this beautiful Himalayan kingdom, remember to eat like a local and let your taste buds embark on an unforgettable journey. Bhutan is a pioneer in sustainable travel and gross national happiness. As we delve deeper into this intriguing land, we uncover its innovative approach to tourism that has truly set it apart on the global stage. In Bhutan, tourism is more than just sightseeing and snapping pictures. It's about fostering meaningful connections, preserving cultural heritage, and promoting environmental conservation. The Bhutanese have a profound respect for nature, a sentiment deeply ingrained in their culture and way of life. This is reflected in their commitment to maintaining at least 60% forest cover for all future generations. When it comes to tourism, Bhutan has adopted a high-value, low-impact policy. The aim is not to attract swarms of tourists, but rather to welcome those who value and respect the cultural and natural richness of the country. This approach ensures that tourism contributes positively to the local economy, while minimizing environmental degradation and cultural erosion. But what truly sets Bhutan apart is its unique concept of gross national happiness. While most countries measure progress in terms of gross domestic product, Bhutan focuses on the holistic well-being of its people and the balance between material and spiritual development. Happiness here is not just an emotion, but a national goal. As travelers, we can play a significant role in promoting sustainable travel. By being mindful of our actions, respecting local customs, and making eco-friendly choices, we contribute to the preservation of this enchanting kingdom. So, next time you pack your bags for Bhutan, remember, you're not just a tourist, but a participant in a larger global movement towards sustainable travel. Your journey is more than just a holiday. It's a commitment to leaving a positive impact on the places you visit. In Bhutan, every journey is a step towards sustainability and happiness, so let's tread lightly, travel responsibly, and remember, in the land of the Thunder Dragon, happiness is the ultimate destination. Bhutan is a playground for the adventurous soul. This kingdom in the clouds is teeming with opportunities to engage, explore, and indulge in a variety of activities that are as diverse as the landscape itself. For those with a love for the great outdoors, the Himalayan terrain provides the perfect backdrop for an exhilarating trekking experience. Scale the heights of the Jamalhari and Drukpath trails, where every step reveals a breathtaking vista of snow-capped peaks, verdant valleys, and clear blue skies. But the adventure doesn't end there. Experience the thrill of rafting down the Mok Chu River or mountain biking along the rugged trails of the Fobjika Valley. Yet, Bhutan is not all adrenaline and exertion. The country's rich culture and history are woven into the fabric of everyday life and can be experienced in a multitude of ways. Take archery, for instance. More than just a sport, it's a national obsession and an integral part of Bhutanese culture. Try your hand at it, and you'll be participating in a tradition that dates back centuries. The local markets provide another window into the Bhutanese way of life. From the vibrant weekend market in Thimphu to the charming farmer's markets in Paro, these bustling bazaars are a riot of colors, sounds, and scents. Explore the maze of stalls selling everything from traditional Bhutanese textiles and handicrafts to fresh organic produce. It's a delightful sensory overload and a fantastic way to interact with the locals, learn about their customs, and perhaps even pick up a few words of Dzongka, the Bhutanese language. No matter what your interests are, Bhutan has something to offer. 
Whether it's the thrill of an outdoor adventure, the joy of immersing in a vibrant culture, or the simple pleasure of strolling through a bustling market, you're guaranteed a unique and unforgettable experience. In Bhutan, every day brings a new adventure, a new story to tell. So come, lace up your hiking boots, string your bow, and dive headfirst into the enthralling world of Bhutan. Your adventure awaits. As our journey through Bhutan comes to an end, we're left with a sense of serene beauty and rich culture. This mystical kingdom has offered us a glimpse into a world that merges the ancient with the modern, the spiritual with the everyday, and the extraordinary with the commonplace. We've tasted the fiery flavors of Bhutanese cuisine, marveled at the majestic landscapes, and delved into a rich tapestry of history and spirituality. Bhutan, in its true essence, is not just a destination, but an experience that goes beyond mere tourism. If the charm of Bhutan has captured your imagination, consider this as just the beginning. There are countless other destinations, each with its own unique story waiting to be told. So don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more travel guides and cultural insights. From its majestic landscapes to its vibrant culture, Bhutan truly is the last Shangri-La. Until our next journey, safe travels and keep exploring.